confidence, believing and trusting in him. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, let us remember men, women, and children everywhere. Let us remember uh, Sister Charlene. I don't know if you all remember her. Um, Sister Charlene attended uh, the service from time to time. But she had called me uh, last week uh, saying that uh, she had got bad news and she uh, was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, wow. And they didn't give her much longer to live.
persevere through whatever condition and situation it may be toward the mark, toward the goal, toward the path. And one, one tremendous thing that God has given all of us is hope. Uh, we need hope. Uh, uh, we all need hope. Hope in God. Hope in a change. Hope that things will turn around. Hope that things will improve. Hope that, that we will succeed. Hope in that he will come, as he said. And, and as we get ready to look at our Bible study on tonight and uh, talking about perseverance, and I want to define perseverance in this way. Uh, perseverance in the fact that being steadfast in doing something despite the difficulty or the delay in success. Being steadfast, I want you to, I want you to hear me. Being steadfast despite or in spite of the difficulty or in spite of the delay in success. Amen. Because oftentimes in walking with God, there is a delay. Uh, uh, and that delay is not always bad. Because in that delay, God is giving you an opportunity to grow and mature so you can handle the success. So, so, so perseverance. Perseverance. Uh, being steadfast in doing something, whatever you're trying to accomplish. We all should be trying to accomplish something. Uh, we, we should never be at ease in Zion. We should also, we should always have a goal, a mark that we're trying to achieve. Uh, we should always uh, be seeking uh, that next deliverance, that next blessing. In other words, we should always have in our minds uh, of, of building ourselves up uh, on our most holy faith. Building and growing and maturing in God. Uh, amen? amen. So, so persevering, perseverance, looking at being steadfast in doing something despite or in spite of uh, difficulty or delay in achieving the success. In other words, picking up your cross uh, and following after him. Amen? Pick up your cross and following after him. Because uh, uh, people, if you're, not, if you're not careful, you can allow uh, words from other people to throw you off. Uh, to cause you to throw in the towel, say forget it. Uh, you can allow uh, 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 situations and conditions uh, to be stumbling blocks and not looking at them as opportunities for God to uh, receive glory uh, as opportunities for God to, 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 to build you up uh, or opportunities for God to gain a testimony for others. Amen? God uses us. Uh, he uses uh, us for his glory, for his testimony. Uh, thank you, Lord. For his power, for his purpose. Amen? So, so I want to look at uh, the book of Joshua, chapter number one, and we're going to talk about tonight uh, those three principles that God gave Joshua for success. Uh, and, and I'm not <coughs> the fact that we only really gave him three, three principles for success. But these three principles for success, if we internalize them uh, and receive them and make them a part of our walk with God, we will have success. Yes, we will. Amen? Amen. Why? Now, that's because I said it, not because somebody else said it, but because God said it. Amen. Amen? And God holds true to all of his promises. God holds true to all of his words. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When you, when you, uh, uh, when you really, when you really walk with God, when you really walk with God, 
but it's in him. Uh, it's in him. Uh, and, and your alignment with him causes great success. Amen? Because uh, why? Because God, he wants all the glory. Uh, he wants all the honor. Yes. Amen? He wants all the praise. Yes. Am I right? Yes. And, and God is sure. He's not, he's not like us. Uh, we may forget. Uh, I, I may make you a promise, and then I forget. Amen? I may, I may, I may make you a promise and be intending to complete the promise. I may even forget it, but intending to complete it, but lack the ability to follow through. Uh, God doesn't lack any ability. Amen? God doesn't forget anything. Amen? Uh, and everything that God has said, He's already weighed out and calculated. Uh, that, 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 that whatever He says, it has to come to pass. Uh, God sends forth His word, and His word literally accomplishes where to be sent. Amen? Amen. Uh, do we believe that today? Yes. Uh, do, we, do we truly believe that today? Not just. just not
Be what? Be grateful. Hallelujah. Be grateful. You may have one leg, but somebody ain't gonna have any leg. Be grateful. Be grateful. Hallelujah. Talk about persevering. Having that mindset, that attitude of, of, of achieving uh, the mark of, of going through here the right way to attain great success. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we're looking at then Joshua uh, chapter number one, verse number I promise we're going to read it now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now that's what I'm reading if you can read. Read from Joshua chapter number one, verse number one. Now after the death of Moses, uh -huh. the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, mm -hmm. Moses' minister, saying, yeah. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. All right. Now, she just read uh, Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. And I want to say, I want to say this as we continue to progress into this particular Bible study. That, that, True success, true success comes from knowing God and having a relationship with Him. Amen. You cannot have true success without knowing God and having a relationship with Him. Amen? Amen. Amen. True success comes from Knowing who God is. Amen. And, and not only just knowing Him, who He is, because a lot of people may know who He is, have an idea of who He is, but, but also knowing Him and having a relationship Amen. with Him. And when I say a relationship with Him, uh, meaning having day to day with him. Uh, being intimate with him. Knowing him. Amen? David comes dependent upon him. Trusting in him. Leaning on him. Acknowledging him in all your way. I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about when I say relationship. Not just, not just uh, 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 something superficial. Uh, I, I'm thinking about God. I'm in love with God. My, my, my heart, my passion. Uh, I, I, I set my, my, my affections on things above. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with him. And I think about him. Yes. And I know he thinks about me. I'm, I'm concerned because I, 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 I don't want anything to, to, to come in between our relationship. So I'm concerned about my, my actions. I'm concerned about what I say. I'm concerned about what I do. Uh, relationship. I feel him. He feels me. Huh? Uh, I care about him. He cares about I, 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 when I say I care about him, I care about God's feelings. I care about the feelings of the Holy Ghost. Huh? I, I don't want to offend the Holy Ghost. Talk about relationship. Huh? I don't want I don't want 
Beyond all doubt, beyond all fear. 
got an assignment. You're not just here to be. You're here because God has called you into a work for Him. Amen. God has called you for work. God has called you for work. And when, when we don't when we don't see it like that, then we become at ease in Zion. When you when you focus on something, your attention is upon it because you want to have success. When you're not focused upon something, uh, uh, the enemy can slip in, take advantage of. When you don't focus on the fact that you're called uh, to be a servant of God first and foremost, uh, a warrior in his kingdom first and foremost, then you become an easy time. Yes. You stop praying. You stop fasting. Yes. You stop serving. Why? Because, because your focus is not on your side. I'm sure if, if we were in a war zone, here dogs and ammunition going on around us, our senses would get heightened. Huh? We become more alert. Am I right? We become more cautious. Huh? The enemy is out to kill, steal, and to destroy you. Am I right? Yeah. When he got up with all power, he transferred. 
Yeah. <laughs> 
that you have it or it's going to alter your life. You can be the son knowing that you can trust me. Knowing that I will be committed in doing and fulfilling the request. You don't do that to a normal stranger. You do that to somebody you know that you have a relationship with. And, and 
which you're trying to avoid. We try to avoid a lot of stuff. And, and, and let me help. We try to avoid a lot of stuff that God has told us to do. But then we 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 get chipping corner scriptures Come on. to help us in our own mind to justify our, our way. That's not God. God said, go to an individual, be reconciled. Oh, well, if I go to him, he'll hear me. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I ain't gonna do it. Uh, 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 I ain't gonna make myself look foolish and God take God. Huh? 
that, 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 that are. One way, but then when they, when they get into their element, they get bold with it. They get strong with it. They get courageous with it. Amen? Hallelujah. That's what we all get. Huh? When we're witnessing for the Lord, we ought to get bold with it. We ought to get courageous with it. When we're living holy, we ought to get bold with it. We ought to get courageous with it. Huh? We, ought to, we ought to stand our ground for Jesus. Huh? Huh? Love, love for Jesus. Um, take a hit from Jesus. <laughs> and, and, and let me say this, so we don't get ourselves all twisted. Being strong and, and being bold with it doesn't always mean that you 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 gotta say everything. Huh? Being bold with it, being strong with it, just means maybe you just gotta take a stand on, on the side of right. Uh, I'm standing on the side of right. Uh, and then when you stand on the side of right, know that you may be persecuted, talked about, lied on. Uh, but, uh, but I'm standing up for right. I'm standing up for Jesus. Hmm? All right, let's move on. Uh -huh. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Be thou strong and very courageous. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. All right, now, he's telling him now to be obedient to the word. That's the second key to success. Obedience to the word of God. What does it say? That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law uh -huh. which Moses my servant commanded thee. Alright, which Moses my servant gave you command. We've got to observe all the law that Jesus commanded us. Hmm? Do we believe that? Amen. I read. Turn not from it to the right hand. Uh, or to the left. Now he's saying, don't, don't, don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus off the word. It's easy to lose focus on the word of God. Are you? That thou mayest prosper and whithersoever thou goest. Huh? Now, prosperity and the blessing is within your obedience. Read. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Now, the third principle is the meditation. That's the three keys to success. Is the 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 being courageous, being obedient, and meditating on the word. All right. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Now. To meditate on the word means that you rehearse the word in your mind. Day and night. Night and day. Always rehearsing the word of God in your mind. For the purpose of being transformed. For the purpose of being renewed. For the purpose of not being comfortable to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Meditate, rehearsing the word of God in your mind. You 
He said, weep with those who weep. Yeah. God didn't just come out to jo uh, Joshua the day after Moses died. They, 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 they held a, a memorial service for 30 days. Yes. You know, God is, is not a narcissist. If people are in pain, he don't just pile on the stuff. He gives them time to uh, heal. heal. Yes. You know, and, um, and this is the character of God. You know, he, 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 he wants to be in a good relationship with you. Something happened to somebody, you can't just 
just uh, all right, forget about that. It's time for you to move on. <laughs> you know, that's not what God did with Joseph. Joshua. You know, he, he allowed him time to grieve and to uh, get, get his mind on track. Now, I'll just laugh. Uh, this one brother, his wife was, was grieving over uh, his, 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 his death in his family. His mother, his mother had died. And she kind of went on with it. Don't go there, don't go there, God. <laughs> there you go.